Is there anything you wish you'd had someone tell you before you made the feature? Was there something here and there where if someone could just have warned you? Everything I wished I would have known, I, I, I learned. I learned from channels like yours and other YouTube channels um, where I learned how to, I mean, I'm, YouTube was my film school, no joke. Um, in fact, there's so, I mean, there's so many channels in thank you in my credits. Oh, you guys yeah. are in the thank you oh in my, my credits. Oh my gosh, really? You guys oh. taught me so much, right? Thank you. So, wow. so everything I wished I had learned, I, I made sure to learn, right? Um, any of the pitfalls or the warnings, I got all that in, in my studies. <laughs> I, I, okay, what can <laughs> I look out for? What, what can I, so I learned from everyone's mistakes and, and I think that's why it was such an enjoyable, easy, smooth experience for us. Um, <clears throat> If I, th if I really think hard about something I wish I could have learned, um, I, th I think the one thing I will say is I wish I, there was more focus on B-roll, for sure. It's such a weird detail, but I wish I had learned to shoot B-roll and plan for B-roll and inserts and stuff well before him. Because when we got to our post editing, I had nothing, I had no B-roll. I had to reshoot a bunch of stuff and it just, none of it makes sense, right? Inserts, come on, right? Um, so that that's one, interesting detail I wish I had really learned about beforehand was planning for B-roll um, because we didn't and we didn't and we didn't have any and we had to reshoot a ton of stuff and it was tough um, but as far as like the experience of filmmaking no I, I, I heard the lessons and I took them <laughs> from all the channels I watched and whatnot mm -hmm. so yeah there was nothing I looked back I was like oh man I wish I didn't do this no I, I just followed the guidelines that people talked taught yeah what about set photography did you have a lot? I of wish we had. I wish we did. Um, you had a few though we, yeah, on we, your Facebook. Yes, uh, we had the producers taking candid shots. Um, I didn't instruct them to. Thank God they did. <laughs> um, but having a set photography is super necessary because uh, they're one. They're capturing the moment, they're capturing the excitement, the memories. But it's so great for publicity. So great. Behind the scenes is so much fun to, to study and look and research and, and learn about. Um, so our producers did take some, uh, but uh, it's not something I wish we would have had an on set photographer all the time, but couldn't get one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I wasn't worried about spoilers either because we're, we're, we're not known. So spoil the crap out of it, right? <laughs> get people to know what this is. Oh, there's a new film. What's this mean? What's that mean? Great. Talk about it. I mean, we're not like, we're not like a major, major blockbuster who needs to keep everything tight lipped. No, I, I want to find out. Yeah. Take pictures, leak, whatever you can. I want people to find out about this thing, you know? So. It's not, I remember when La La Land, I think was like right. leaked. Right. They, oh, right. Right. <laughs> you know, there was like well, some pictures far away. Of and now dancing. you're finding, <laughs> now you're finding directors like, well, if we're going to have paparazzi leak it, I might as well leak it myself. Sure. So at least let's get the pictures to look good. Right. Let's get the videos to look good. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's like part of the game now, I think, you know, leaking your stuff to, to hype it up. But yeah, I ha had people leaked my stuff. I would have felt honored, you know, because no one knows about it yet. So. So when do you think it'll be out? I know you said mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. up on Amazon yeah. Prime. Is it for per, used for purchase? Right well, it's, it's currently not on Amazon Prime at this moment anymore because the film, um, the, the film festival wants the world, wants the world release. So we, oh. it was literally on for eight hours. We got the email saying we were in, we took it right down. <laughs> <laughs> eight hours so it wasn't like well we didn't really break any rules because like no one saw it really it was like eight hours live um so it will be live on amazon prime july 1st july 1st which okay. is like two days after the festival gotcha. um and then yeah it'll be live there anyone can watch it you know uh but for now we need to give the priority to the festival understandable you know everyone has their their regulations and their statuses that they need to hit so yeah so you're going to try to find distribution Netflix, whatever, and if for whatever reason that doesn't happen, are you going to do an aggregator where you're going to then put it on video? I, I, I thought about going through Distriber. Um, I, uh, they're obviously the go-to. I know Distriber works directly with Netflix oh, for, great. for stuff. I mean, Netflix goes to Distriber to aggregate everything awesome. first. Like even if you don't go through Distriber to get to them, Netflix goes to Distriber, right? So they're a great company for self-distribution. Amazing. Um, I unfortunately did not have the funds. I had four thousand dollars. I don't have the funds for them, unfortunately. Um, but they're they're amazing. So knowing knowing the small connections I have, that's kind of the route we're going. Um, so like again, Amazon Prime, anyone can get on. We we will be on in January, July first, um, and uh, and then from there, it's about pr promoting it. 
uh, getting a budget for promotions. Um, and then the connections we have. Um, I still have to do a lot more research on any other aggregation, uh, any other services like that, um, because I totally think they're just super helpful and amazing for indie filmmakers. Um, they have doors that sometimes we can't get into and they're already in uh, and they know how to vet your film. They know how to make sure everything's tight and, and up to standard, right? I have to learn that without them because I don't have the money for it. So um, I would love to, I would love to go through them, but or other, other distri distribution aggregation stuff. But at this point, we're just doing it ourselves.